Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophin at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to a bloody quick way through Dishonor 2. Last time, we, yeah, I must admit, we kind of stumbled through chapter 4. It got better by the end, but uh, we kind of had our problems in the first half of the episode. But today, we're back in chapter 5, and we got another strange visit because this seems like the boat at first, but when we get outside, it starts to get a bit more strange. It's different this time. And Emily notes that this is somehow different this time, which means that it might not be the stranger who pulled us in here. And there we have Delilah. Into this place. The outsider marked me long ago. I made you flee your precious tower and turned your father into cold stone. How difficult for you. But when I was young, sweet Jessamine and I were closest sisters, sharing a secret. Emperor Caldwin had another daughter, born in shame to a kitchen maid. Am I dreaming? If not, how is Delilah doing this? So this uh, kind of interlude is here to uh, dispel any doubt that Delilah is actually a sister to Jessamine. And it also serves, of course, to show a real motivation to what Delilah is doing here. Uh, we have, a, we don't have our powers, so this might be a bit difficult sometimes. But there we go, strange presence. During the day, Jessamine and I played games in the tower, but at night I go back to the servants' quarters to cockroaches and thin gruel. Emperor Daddy would visit and tell me if I was good. Next year, I'd be old enough to come to court to be a princess. Then one day, pretty Jessamine broke something worth a fortune, and the spy master caught us. She claimed I did it, and he whipped me in the garden house until I bled. My mother lost her kitchen job, and that night we were out on the streets with no place to sleep. And that's when everything went from bad to worse. So something that started out pretty innocent had uh, very, well, very cruel consequences. I'm not getting up this thing, am I? There we go. Mother and I saw the nastiest parts of Dunwall, ending up in debtor's prison. Jessamine died quick on an assassin's blade, but my mother lingered for weeks after a fat guard broke her jaw. They threw me out when she died. I looked up at the lights of Dunwall Tower and swore revenge. Washing bedsheets in a brothel, I painted on the side, until Anton Sokolov took me as a student. That's the polite word for it. I was crafty even before the outsider marked me, and survived the worst the Empire could offer. Now it's your turn. My mother's sick. She needs help. Your mother kicked off while you were out begging. She's another bag of bones now, girl. What? No! Her sentence is served and she'll be tossed out with the others. You can't stay here anymore. And that lost Delilah. With that, Delilah lost her only home she had by then. So, uh, there we go. The backstory of Delilah Caldwin. It's hard to know whether my dear old aunt is telling the truth or not. When I saw what they'd done to Anton Sokolov, I wanted to hurt everyone who'd helped Delilah and the Duke of Sirkonos pull off their coup. Sokolov is the man who made whale oil into a weapon, who turned back the plague, and now he's barely able to speak. The hands that painted the most powerful men and women of our time shake too badly to hold a spoon. When he does talk, he's going to give me a name. The next step along the way to Duke Luca Abel, then Delilah herself. A name. That's all I need. 
So yeah, that scene gave us a good look into Delilah's motivations, which makes her a bit more human than just uh, just being the witch that she is. Hello, Mum. That wasn't a dream, was it? Am, Am I to blame, blame for Delilah's bitterness? All this is her doing, and she'll die for it. Our, Our decisions, decisions have weight. I, I feel my time drawing to an end soon. And there we go, another hint at what the heart is going to do later on in the story. But let's have a little chat with our allies. So now we have uh, Megan and Sokolov. So have a little chat. Anton, you've had three days to rest. Tell me how to kill Delilah. They tortured him. His body is covered with bruises. Delilah has the throne and my father is missing. This is Anton Sokolov. The greatest mind in the Empire. No, Emily. Megan is right. I can make electricity move from one side of the room to the other, but Delilah is beyond my understanding. Not really what Megan said, I but I get your point. Sarkonos, I meant to leave everything behind. But when the assassination started, I couldn't ignore it. By the time Megan and I connected the murders to the Duke, it was too late. The Crown Killer came for me. It kept me alive from my knowledge, but I saw things. Jindosh often had a visitor, Brianna Ashworth. She's the curator of the Royal Conservatory. Yes, Ashworth is dangerous, as obsessed with the occult as Delilah. Apparently, she's working on a device called the Oraculum. There's more to her than either of you know. If Ashworth is one of Delilah's lieutenants, I need to eliminate her. Who knows what this device is capable of, or what she's up to. Sometimes the logic in these conversations don't make a lick of sense. I mean... We just said, oh my god, she's the curator for the Royal Conservatory, and then... Sokolov answers with, yes, she is dangerous. I mean, the curator of a conservatory is usually not the most dangerous person in the world, but uh, he is right. Brianna Ashworth is a dangerous woman, but uh, yeah, we'll see about that in a second, because Brianna is, of course, our next target. A bit of a witch, same as Delilah, so obsessed with the occult, same as Delilah. So uh, I guess we'll just uh, have to deal with that right now. So let's head to the skiff. There we go, hop aboard, and let's head to the Royal Conservatory. We'll take the skiff. I don't want to bring the dreadful whale any closer than we have to. There is a small dock in Syria Gardens, close to the Conservatory. That's as far as I can take you. Ready to go? Yes, we are. Yes, let's go. Let's get stabby again after all this uh, exposition. There will be a Grand Guard presence outside the Royal Conservatory. Inside, be prepared for anything. Ashworth runs with an eclectic crowd. They'll be the real danger. Yeah, because of course like to know more about there are a lot of witches in that place. I know you would. Trust me. Ashworth is important to Delilah. Which brings up something else. You might be able to exploit the Abbey of the Everyman in removing Ashworth from play. Turns out the Vice Overseer in Karnaka has been watching Ashworth from a hidden outpost near the Royal Conservatory. Check it out first if you want more options. Remember, if she's still working with Delilah, Ashworth is a grave threat. Thanks, Megan. See you soon. So Ashworth is actually making a machine, a sort of machine for uh, Delilah, which would give her immense power. So let's uh, let's have a little look around. So the first area in this uh, place is not hostile so we can just move along here although there is of course a guard over there once we get over here what i'm gonna do is just murder this guy as quickly as possible there we go and then just move along over here because we can get to this area's black market over here so the howlers are also present over here so they're up the stairs so i do need to be careful but over here we can get into the black market and have a little Please chat with this man. Around. Welcome to my shop. Say, an acquaintance of mine is supposed to be holed up in an office overlooking the Royal Conservatory. Check on them if you're headed that way. I check myself, but the streets are locked down. I'd make it worth your time. 
I'll think about it. See anything you like? Well, the office is, uh, he's talking about is what one of the easiest ways to get to into the Royal Conservatory, so that is fine. So not really uh, worthwhile upgrades there. So let's just check out the gear. I can buy a few more An excellent crossbow bolts. Uh, everything else is full, I think, and then the safe combination. No need to wrap it for you, I and I have three rewiring tools, so I think that's just fine. Um, I'm gonna buy the, a few upgrades for the ah, you want crossbow, for so I'm gonna unlock the wider radius for the uh, incendiary bolt. There we go. Uh, and then we have extra capacity for the crossbow, and I'm gonna do that twice, just so we can gather up a few bolts. There we go. That means we now have a few options. So again, we need to cross a large open area before we actually can get where we need to go. Hi. Uh, he saw me immediately there. Hey, Let's just use uh, an incendiary bolt. Stab this woman in the face. And that's a howling bolt, so I can take him out with an incendiary bolt. Kind of slows time down for some reason. And oh my god. Well, that's horrifying. So they just murdered, we missed that conversation, but they just murdered somebody outside this place. Um, I'm gonna, gonna loot this guy, but holy crap. Uh, I don't think these guys actually carry anything. Oh, this guy does. A bit of silver dust. But now that those guys are dead, we can actually just go inside this building. And use the upper floor to get to the other side. So again, we need to pass a wall of light, which is about over there. But to reach that, I think we can get to higher ground first. So the upper floor of this area is actually also crowded with guards. And I can just try and just murder them all. And there we go. Triple kill. Very sneaky triple kill. Okay, that's pretty good. And now we can cross over here. But the first thing I want to do is... Can I get up there? I think I can, if I'm a bit smart about this. So if you activate the windmill, that actually turns off the wall of light. So every guard is going to start freaking out. But we can actually take advantage of the distraction that causes. And move along the upper rafters. And get to the other side of the wall. Because usually you could just hop over that building if you have blink. Uh, and that would get you to where you need to be as well. Um, but I think I can sneak behind this guard. And then just head into the building over here. If I run a bit faster, they're going to notice me. But if I just stay quiet, this should be fine. Because I think if I just say over here. And there we go. Kill her off. And just scare her away. Then, I think we need to head, so the conservatory is over there, so the best thing to do here is get through that building. Um, the problem is that that building is filled with blood flies. And there's something really creepy in this area. Just gonna wipe away the blood flies. And set this guy on fire. There we go. Now, I can... I could use the pistol to take care of all the blood flies in here. But I think I'm just gonna go with... Uh... You know what? I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna use the pistol. So I can just slowly take care of everything here. A corrupt bone shard. Another a painting of uh, Brianna Ashworth herself. And then just clear out the rest of this place. So we got the safe combination from the black market. So it's 691. There we go. Opening that up. Now that we uh, killed everything in here. So yeah, that guy we just set ablaze. That's a nest keeper. So kind of a, a zombie type character. And there's a lot of money in this place. Holy crap. So. The Royal Conservatory is of course blocked off with a wall of light and a spotlight that will fire kind of like rockets at you if you get spotted. So we need to get to the other side and the office 
of that uh, the shopkeeper's associate is right over there so we should try and get over there if i can get this blood amber because that's another 25 coins so the entrance is to the side if i recall correctly so dropping down and then i think there's one more guard around this place yeah so i think if i just it doesn't have a helmet so there we go and there's two guys over there i think you know what this is a bloody playthrough right goodbye Eh, 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 eh. Okay, into the next creepy building. So if we go all the way to the top here, it seems to be locked off. But I think we can actually just climb over here. There we go. Um, somebody got our attention, but there's a bolt in there. Thank you. So he triggered the trip mine and that caused him to get fired at. And there's another crossbow bolt. Oh god, yeah, I just tripped that. Let's just uh, disarm the next one. And can I disarm that? No, wait, but maybe the crossbow bolt got lodged inside of the wall? No. Nope, that might. So top floor and the uh, shopkeeper's associate's apartment is just wide open, so that's not a problem. The rats are still friendly, which is something that also could uh, backfire. And there's a lot of nice things here. So we have the map to the Royal Conservatory. We can check that out. Not really anything interesting. And he marked a few things on the map. But I'm just interested in the crossbow bolts, of course. Because they're going to come in handy. Then we have a health elixir. Two spring razors, of which we can only take one. And then we can find... Well, we get the tip that we can find an old Roseboro prototype on display in the Royal Conservatory. And if we can get that we might get a bit more money out of that. We have another rewiring tool, so good luck I didn't actually buy one. And I think in here there's one more item I want to have. A bit of money, that, but that's pretty much it. But the most important part of this area is that we can actually go over here on the pipes and then on the railing. And now we can just use the cliffs on the side to get inside of the building immediately. Which is, which is probably the most, uh, the easiest way to get into the Royal Conservatory. Now, we need to kill Brianna Ashwood, which is not as simple as it sounds, because she's just like Delilah and the three witches we found before. She's uh, a powerful witch. I need to find out how a sword through the heart wasn't enough to kill our new Empress Delilah. So uh, there's a lot of witches in this place if you haven't noticed yet and we need to get through this area without well getting killed ourselves because all of those women have magical powers. So first things first I'm gonna check out the Roseberry prototype which is just right over here we can get up here and then through this little opening. And if you have a rewiring tool, this is actually pretty simple. Just open up the panel to dismantle the security. And this way it won't open up. So we can just get in there and grab the Roseberry prototype without triggering the alarm. But you need to rewire that first because otherwise it just zaps you. And then another health elixir. I think we're at max right now. The security room is handy because it now gives us a way to just block ourselves off. Uh, that thing over there is a machine we need to... Well, that uh, Brianna Ashford is actually making for the Lila. Just want to be careful because I want to get over there. Uh, there's a lot of witches in the way. And if I just headshot a few from here with the bolts that we've been gathering. I do hear someone pretty close. So, whoop! Okay. Oh god. Oh, this is a problem. Oh god, that's that's four of them. That's four of them. That's four of them. Close the door. So I think. Oh, and I died. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. That one was. Completely my own fault. Shouldn't have just murdered simple witches. Um, I'm going to try to take out one of those. Because I think if I just take out one. Oh, come on. Let's just slowly make our way. 
Apparently without shooting people in the face. So there we go. That's one. Don't think anybody else noticed. So. What I want to do for one of the uh, three trophies that I'm missing. Don't step in the glass. Don't step in the glass. Is uh, activate this machine in the middle here three times. Because that actually gives us another trophy. One that I couldn't do because the, um, the non-lethal option of taking out Brianna is actually tampering with this machine. Oh god, she just murdered my ass. And there we go, take out her head. Is that it? I think that's it. Okay. I had to heal twice there because these women do a lot of damage. Um, this looks important. I wonder what it does. Good question. I'm just wondering if I don't need to kill any witches before we pull this thing, but here we go. That was actually positive. They were warning farmers about the fact that their crops were infected. Oh. Oh, I'm just not going to hit her, am I? Am I going to hit her? Oh, no. That was, that was stupid. I think I killed her. I think I killed her. That was... Yeah, I think I killed it. Okay. So... The other, the other one wants to come over here. That would be fine. So for the trophy, I need to pull this three times. So here we go again. Okay, that was slightly disturbing and creepy. Let's pull that one more time and that should get us the trophy. Jindosh was tiresome. How does this even work? And there we go. That should, I think, give us... Oh, what the hell? What the hell? Woman! Fuck off! Holy crap! Okay. Um, I didn't get a trophy for that. Do I need to pull it again? Ah, there we go. Oracular Echo. So, to explain this a bit, we have the Abbey of the Everyman and then we have the Sisters of the Oracular Order. So, two gender-based uh, groups of religion. And this is the latter, because we saw the Abbey of the Everyman already. Uh, and, yeah, they kind of got trapped in these coffins and the Lila and Brianna are actually using them to gain power, I think. It's, it's really, really, really creepy, all that. Uh, I don't think... Can I actually get up there by just jumping? I can't. Okay. Do need to be careful. So, Brianna is right over there. But she is guarded by two dogs. I think if I can just... 
did Jindosh die? Someone got inside that strange house of his. I don't know, Delilah. Forgive me. No, my dear. It's a loss. But I doubt he had anything more to give us. Sokolov was taken away as well. Oh god. Oh god. And I need to I need to whisper into the ears of the oracular sisters. My influence grows. Last night I walked through a dream with one of them, and we drank from a fountain in the town where she was born. Ashworth is influencing the oracular order. His business with Jindash won't affect things. No. He continued to tinker with the lenses. Thicker, thinner, more opaque. It was tiresome to watch. I still have the old lenses and cast off parts piled in my workshop. But Jindash finished some time ago. The rest is up to me, learning to use the machine. The tricky thing, touching the void through such a device. Blood and biscuits. I look forward to using it myself once you're ready. I never actually heard this conversation between Brianna and Delilah. The mostly in hand. The High Overseer won't be a problem anymore. And there's the matter of my own project. I get more excited with each brushstroke. When I come to Karnaka, we'll drink an ocean of good wine and stay tight as a boiled owl. I look forward to it. For now, I need your eyes on the Duke. At least until we have the sisters under control. There's no one else I trust. I'll reach out to you again on the morrow. Farewell. Goodbye. So, yeah, that was a conversation between Brianna and Delilah. And uh, those were Gravehounds, so they can resurrect if you don't toss the skull away. I need to be careful, because I know I can't kill Brianna by just stabbing her in the back. So I'm going to have to do something else. Because, um, of course, she's a witch. She can actually counter your backstabbing. Uh, so she just sat down over there. I don't think... Can I... She's going to notice me, isn't she? Oh, yeah, she does. Oh, yeah, she does. Oh, God. Um, um, um. Bring me easy. There we go. So two spring razors is apparently enough to kill Brianna Ashworth. <laughs> okay. She died horribly and I got the use out of my uh, my spring razors, which is really, really nice. So another thing we can do in her office, because now if you kill Brianna Ashworth, all the witches actually die, uh, which is very nice to allow us to just ransack this area. But what we can also do is have a little chat with Delilah. Everyone you love. Everything you hold dear, I'll destroy. Wanna know why? Oh, little Emily. So very far from home. You're going to pay for all the people you've butchered. And for everything you've stolen from me. It should have been mine to begin with. Everything that's happened is wrong. But don't you worry, I'm going to make it all better. Give me back my throne and my father. Come and take them, girl. I welcome you to my tower. And there we go. So we have, can have a little uh, chastising chat with Delilah herself through the statue. Which is, yeah, more than a bit creepy. Uh, I'm just gonna ransack the place and then we'll head outside. Because we just murdered Brianna Ashford with ease. So normally all witches should be dead or unconscious. But uh, yeah, I've had it happen that we uh, encountered a one or two stragglers that somehow survived the general onslaught. So... Just carefully making my way outside again. We're uh, close to where we entered the area. So uh, I guess I'll see you guys back at the black market. So as I thought, these two are actually still alive. And we don't leave any survivors now, do we? And stab. Goodbye. I think that should be all of them. Because I think those two survived because they're far enough away. And that means we can just leave the same way we came in. So there we see the uh, light in action, for some reason. I'm gonna 
take advantage of the distraction here and just keep moving. Oh god. So let's just run away. I just get out, get out, get out, get out. Well, this is a uh, high speed chase. Megan, Megan, we need to leave. Ashworth is a true believer. What? Woman. Oh, yeah, we probably should. Wait, what? Uh, what is going on? Ashworth's office is still marked. Oh, God. Um, She's dead. You the road for you. That was a lot of people dead just because of that. <laughs> Let me show you how Jesus Christ. You oh god. Okay, so we're back here. So I eliminated Brianna Ashworth. Do we need to? Oh, yeah. Okay, I need to read this, of course, to get our next target. Ashworth's journal might tell that was stupid. More about why Delilah can't be killed. Retrieve. We search the office, and now we need to. Yeah, we need to get to the basement, right? Okay, never mind. I made a mistake. Just quickly going to do that then. So two more dogs in our way, and I think. I can actually attach that like that and blow them both up. So that was a sticky grenade. Because, yeah, we like to do things a bit bloody. And now we need to head to the basement. And there are witches in here, apparently. There we go. What's going on? Oh, for fuck's sake. And I think that killed both of them. Yeah, I don't want to... I don't want to waste too much time in here. God damn it. Let's get done with the sneakiness. Shoot a few nests. So the basement houses a few things, among which, of course, the audiograph we're looking for. After Delilah fell to the assassin down, her magic was lost, and the coven scattered. I made a new life in Karnaka. Then I heard her whispering from the void, leading me to the Duke, who heard those same whispers. Together we worked to bring Delilah back into the world. Changing the Empire from the home of Aramis Stilton three years ago. Across the Isles, all of us who'd been with her at Brigmore and before, we felt the magic return. Others joined. New faces, new blood. Now, Delilah is immortal. Forever. She holds Dunwall, and we've turned to corrupting the oracular order. The Overseers take guidance from their prophetic sisters, and soon we'll influence their dreams. Ambitions. There we go. So, uh, Delilah gets her power from the Void, kind of. And she used that power to uh, gain control over the sisters of the Oracular Order, which in turn influenced the Abbey of the Everyman. Uh, we have one more dog over there, which is, of course, very perceptive, because dogs are smart like that. And stab through the skull. Which doesn't destroy the skull, sadly. So we need to throw that away. There we go. And then we have another, yeah, kind of gruesome corpse over here. But that's, that's pretty much it. So now I think we have everything we need to do. Just get out of here. Oh, God. Huh? Yeah, here we go again. I'm wondering if I can just get into the black market like this or not. Like that, I can. I can just talk to this man. Your acquaintance didn't make it. It is a risky line of work. Are they entering the building? I expect you'll be interested in payment. First your finder's fee, of course, and if you like, I can draw up some schematics based on the prototype something. Here you are! Oh, there we go. Yeah, we're fucked. Um, can I skip? I'm getting damaged. And there we go. What the hell? I did, I did get the upgrade, which is fine. Um, and then let's just heal up. That was interesting. Did he open up again? And a silver ingot. Come what? in, my friend. Always a delight to see you. Well, it didn't feel like that, my man. I'm just gonna... You know, I'm just gonna what have a little chat with him. 
So the most important upgrade we got from See, getting the Roseboro prototype is that we can game. actually make uh, the crossbow incredibly powerful. So let's install that and then we can go with either bolt step pierce multiple enemies or when using the spy class the crossbow has perfect aim so uh, even when you chain shots and improve damage. So there we go. No and that's pretty much it. You, I suppose. Thank you. So now all there is to it is me just running out towards the exit because uh, Megan is probably waiting for us and yeah the guards seem to be fine by me for now so there we go let's just run out and take a swim hello Megan I'm a bit wet at the moment so it's done yeah all the witches are dead be a problem anymore good but Emily there's something else back when I lived in Dunwall I did things that I'm not proud of isn't that a requirement for citizenship? What I've got to say is not a joke. I knew Delilah and Ashworth. Bought into their bullshit. Which led me down a bad road. To be honest, before all this, I thought Delilah dead. I don't want to get into it right now. But I felt like you should know. There are things I regret. You never know who to trust. Do you? Everybody makes mistakes, Empress. Ooh, that's an angry face. You'll have to tell me all your secrets someday. So, uh, Delilah and Brianna are actually characters from the DLC from Dishonored 1. The Witches of uh, Brigmore, I think it's called. Yes. Let's go. And that's why Take me back we had a few point. conversations about things that happened before this. Another step toward the Duke of Sirkonos and Delilah. So yeah, another uh, member of our conspiracy killed. And we killed 20 people, got detected more than that apparently, and uh, we got five body detections. So yeah, we're down to the lethal assault uh, route again, which is fine by me. That's what this playthrough is all about. For several years, Delilah's been here, getting stronger, turning people against me. Why didn't I see it coming? What was I doing during that time? Pretending to listen at court, ruling through an army of bureaucrats, waiting for the next chance to get free of Dunwall Tower. Well, now I'm free. If only I could go back. Aramis Stilton was once an ally of the Duke. The owner of Karnaka's Mines, Stilton lived in a fortified bunker at the heart of the Dust District. No one's seen him for years, since around the time Delilah started making her moves. But whether Stilton's alive or dead, his home holds the key to Delilah's immortality. So next up, Aramis Stilton. Uh, so we killed Kirin Jindosh, we killed uh, just Brianna Ashworth, we killed the Crown Killer, and now we're down to the last few conspirators. Uh, next up, we need to confer with our allies, but we're done with Chapter 5, which means we're done with this episode. It took a bit longer than I anticipated, but uh, glad we actually got through this one. And we got another trophy for our troubles as well. In the next chapter, we'll get the other trophy, because we're going to encounter Paolo again. But before we do that, I'd like to thank you guys enormously for watching, because I'm going to take a little break. So uh, I hope to see you guys in the next episode of A Bloody Quick Way Through Dishonor 2. Goodbye.